Howdy YouTube and welcome to another short video of the gunman. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and just having a bit of a talk about the mixing cups that I use. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, but I'm just going to run through a few pros and cons of the different mixing pots that I use. I did actually do a SATA RPS versus 3M video years ago, um, but yeah, let's revisit it. A nice easy video for me, and hopefully you can get some information out of it. So I do actually use both of these mixing cups here at work. I'll just run through some of the, the pros and cons. One of the downsides of the 3M pots is that you must, you only get a new hard case once per box, right? Whereas with the SATA RPS, you get a new pot every time so you don't it's not a liner bag type system so what i just literally saw that as i picked this one up have a look at that that is the kind of thing that can fall into your paint job if you're not careful right so i do always try to give specifically that rim a bit of a wipe down before i do put any bags in there just to keep it clean um, so that's one downside. One of the upsides of the PPS is that you can, um, these will operate sort of under a suction type thing, right? So you'll put the, the paint in there, you put your pot on, you then get your spray gun here, up, put it upside down like that. And you can actually leave that gun upside down, pull the trigger, and that will start sucking um, all the air out and it'll blow the air out first. And then once all the air's out, the paint will start going um it will start coming out of the nozzle of your gun and you can actually spray with that gun upside down now to be honest it's not something that i do very often it's not a feature that i do do uh use very often but when you need it it actually is really handy you, you might need it for say up underneath a sill panel or in one of those little hard to reach areas a feature that you can't necessarily do with the rps now some rps lovers will tell you that oh you can do this but it's a it's a pretty weak um, so bear with me I'm sort of trying to do this with one hand I'm holding the camera with the other but you can kind of do that with it right but as you can see it just flops back to its original position so that's the and, and you can well it may work better on a starter because you can see it's sort of bottoming out on there but that, that's the basic idea of uh, they say that you can sort of you know get into some better areas with that again that's a feature that i can't imagine people would be using very often because it's not really going to buy you much more um spraying uh area um so yeah the cleanliness of these generally are a little bit better because you do get a new hard case um every every job so onto the next positive uh, that will be one for the sada rps now i'm spraying ppg enviro base as you can see here at the moment and one of the features of this ppg enviro base is it's quite gritty i mean call it what you will i don't know how well you guys can see inside it's, it's not it doesn't seem to be showing up on that camera sometimes the small details do not but there are these little bits of silver right and that paint has been filtered so it got filtered into here yesterday i mixed it up in like a big pot right i mix a big two liter pot up i filtered it into a different pot right i then filtered it again in the morning and there's more grit that somehow makes its way through the filters now the reason that's a positive for the rps is because it doesn't sort of because it, this has got the bag system right so you imagine that this is the way it's going to be sitting when you've got your um your paint in it and what's happening is that's going to push it's actually going to be pushing any of those little bits of grit through that filter you've seen it already happens here like i say that's been double filtered and there's still more somehow big chunks that actually get through that filter I heard it's a feature of the latex based paint, which the Enviro base is. Supposedly it can like um, dis uh, disconform or something. It can like disfigure itself and like squeeze its way through the filters. And, and to be clear, that's double filtered today. It was triple filtered yesterday and somehow those little bits still find their way through. So because of that, this filter, uh, sorry, the, the PPS2 can actually push some of those things through. Um, whereas this one, it's operating more like a conventional um, gravity-fed spray gun. It's, there's no real pressure other than, yeah, just, just what the venturi of the spray gun is sucking it through. So less pressure under there. It's not, it's not going to actually be pushing it through so much. And I don't know if that's actually 
just a mental thing, but I have noticed ever since I started using these RPS pots, um, spraying in BioBase, it does seem to make a difference. Um, now these pots are a fair bit more expensive, so I looked at one of the invoices. These are about $250 for 40, right? Whereas you get 50, I checked, of the PPS2, the big ones, the same 850 mil, 900 mils, whatever, um, and that's like 160. So you get more for a, quite a fair bit less. So um, that's part of the reason that I do use these for my wet on wets, my clear coats, everything except for the base coat. Oh, that's one more thing that I did want to mention is that you don't have to use the SADA um, spray guns when you are using the RPS pots. You can get um, adapters. So as you can see here, I ended up getting one, Spray Guns Direct. Thank you for sending out that adapter for me. So 125252, two, two, that is the adapter number and that will fit most of your Devilbus. Do we call that Deville Buy? Is that the, <laughs> is that the plural for Devilbus? So that'll fit your DV ones, base coat, clear coat, your pro lights, your pros. Um, apart from that, they've probably got a full range. They are pretty expensive. Anything with a SATA brand on it is pretty expensive. I think they're about like 80 plus, $80 to $100 just for that adapter. So yeah, it, it is pretty expensive to get in there. But I do actually prefer my DV1 than the SATA base coat. I was using this until I did get that, but I do actually prefer the DV1 1.3 for Enviro-based base coat. But in saying that, the, the HVLP, they call it a WSB, I think, a HVLP 1.20, that was also a very good um, spray gun to uh, spray the Enviro-based with. Um, apart from that, I think I've covered just about everything. Um, what have I got in here? I'm about to go and spray some clear coat down onto, uh, some candy, sorry, some candy coat down onto this uh, full respray in here. So yeah, happy days, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got anything to add, be sure to leave it in the comments. Hey, I always, whenever I do a video like this, I always forget something. I always forget like one thing. Oh, well, I should have said that. So forgive me if I forget something, but you know, be sure to add your two cents in the comment section. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. And hey, I'm two days away from painting my Tirana in this booth. Can't wait.